breaking news alerts and coverage where you live. Alex Dennis, Mark Kelly, and Danielle Breezy's accurate and reliable forecast. This is News 2 at 4. Well, you've been seeing more of them lately, but most of all, you are smelling them. Got a few behind us right there. Two or three. Yes. <laughs> Over the last <laughs> month, it's been hard to drive through a rural area without smelling that pungent odor. <laughs> News 2's Davis Nolan explains what's going on with these cute but smelly creatures. For skunks, that's the smell of love. You see, this time of the year is skunk mating season. They're just more active. Uh, they'll be more active during daylight hours. You might see them more often. Um, they're looking for a mate. And once they find one, they want to build a den to have their babies. Now that can be out in the wild, but it can also be in the crawl space under your house or under your shed. And then you need help. We do have a list of uh, qualified uh, animal removal specialists that uh, you can find on our website at tnwildlife.org. And one of those specialists is Brian Swanson, owner of Complete Animal Removal. Uh, when they're mating, they prefer the crawl space. They get under the AC unit. Uh, they go through the foundation vents, the ground vents around the, the bottom of the home. They pop that bug screen out and get right in. Now skunks normally spray when they're threatened, but during the mating season, males spray to fight off other males and a female will spray to invite a male. And if that smell is under your house, you've got a problem. And they can even claw their way into your AC duct work. I've gone into the crawl space, army crawled in, saw a hole this big in the AC duct work, and then two beady eyes looking at me and I saw that stripe. I said, okay, that's a skunk. Uh, and that homeowner was not happy because uh, when it sprayed in there, it goes through the entire house. Oh. Yeah. After they trap and remove the skunks, they disinfect the entire area and then treat it to remove the odor. And that can be a job. I've been sprayed twice in my career, and uh, it's always fun walking through the grocery store uh, trying to get those products. You get funny looks like, what's that smell? Uh, so tomato juice, you know, that, that whole thing, baking soda um, and uh, hydrogen peroxide work pretty good. Now Brian Swanson says it takes a little more than one application of those products to get rid of that smell. You may be washing for a while. I'm Davis Nolan, News 2.